Hey, Halloween is over. Why are you still wearing your costume? Matthew, that's my regular face. Oh, well, uh, this is awkward. Be nice. My stomach still hurts from all the candy. Besides, it's another edition of Your, your Nightly, Nightly News. News. Welcome to the fifth edition of Your Nightly News. I'm Matthew. And I'm JD. And today we have a great story on charity. But first, let's check in on the upcoming fall play. Take one, intro. To be or not to be? Cut. Lance, that was terrible. Intro, take 15. To eat or not to eat? That is not the question. Intro, take 38. To be or, oh. But, since we obviously cannot act, let's go talk to a few people who can. So, Miss Swanson, being the director of the play, what's it like to direct? Well, it is pretty exciting to work with a diverse group of kids. And I love calling the shots. That's what's pretty fun about it. Uh, you get to stretch students to new abilities that they um, never thought they even had in them. That sounds great, really. Uh, what can we expect from the play this year? Well, this play is rather different than any of the plays we've done here, at least when I've been involved so far at Fieldcrest. Mm -hmm. uh, it takes place in the life and the times of everyday normal high school students who are struggling with technology, struggling with um, suicidal thoughts, struggling with um, sexuality, struggling uh, with moms and the pressures of SATs and things like that. Um, in addition, there's also a couple songs in this show, which is unusual for our fall play. That sounds great. So, you were on stage when you were in college, being a major. Uh, what's it like? You know, it can be difficult. Um, sometimes your director throws you a loop and they cast you in a role that you never really thought you had inside of you. And so, um, it takes some research. It takes lots of practice. Um, just last night when we were practicing, I was looking at all of them like, oh my goodness. I remember being there. I remember being so busy all of the time and still trying to memorize your lines and adding in choreography, um, diction, stage presence, how you move, how you talk, how you walk, all of those things play into it. Um, it can be really fun and enjoyable. So what is your character for the play? Um, my character's name's Philip. Um, he really only has one scene. It's basically him asking a girl to a dance and he's really nervous and he finally comes around to ask her and everything's cool. So how would you describe your character? Um, nervous, kind of outgoing. He can be a little cocky sometimes about what the about the dance, but he seems pretty chill. What's your favorite part about being on stage? Um, this is my second year of participating in drama. I don't know. It just bring, it makes you have a voice. It brings out your inner voice and shows who you really are, I guess. So Gracie, tell me, what's your character? Um, I play Beth and Emma in the play. What's her role in the play? Um, Beth is a computer nerd. She's obsessed with her phone, and she's technically friends with David, but so she's pretty outgoing and says a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a cool player character. So uh, what's it like being on stage? Um, it's fun. Being involved with the drama department is really fun. It's a f you really get to know everyone and you're just yourself and we're all family out there so. so so who's your character for this year's play I play Lisa how would you describe your character um she wants attention I think she wears like a polka dot dress which is like all she talks about and then her best friend gets pregnant so yeah so what do you think people should expect from this year's play I think it talks about a lot of stuff that like needs to be talked about about high school that gets like pushed the way that no one wants to talk about. It's kind of controversial, but I think it's going to be good. So what's your favorite part about being on stage? Um, I think it's made me like a less shy person and it, it's fun. It's always fun. 
So, Clay, tell us, what's your character? My character's named Dixon, uh, and uh, he is basically just a character who is uh, going around the school just flirting with girls all day. He's a womanizer. And he does this basically to cover up his insecurities about himself and how he feels about what he is. Sounds awesome. So uh, what's it like being on stage? Uh, it's pretty fun. You get to take like two hours out of your day and be a complete different person. And you get to have like a camaraderie with people that you spend like hours with practicing together. And it's just fun having people that you can just have fun with, I guess. It does sound fun. So. Outro, take one. To be or not to be, that is the question. Perfect, good job. And it's all because I took a few pointers from the cast of the play. From the nightly news, I'm Lance. And I'm Paige. So be sure to check out High School Confidential this weekend. The Knights are having a successful fall, helping us root them on the cheerleaders. Go. Touchdown. Touchdown. Extra Touchdown. point. Do, Do it. it. Ladies, again. ladies, what? ladies. What? Please. <laughs> this is not going to cut it. I need you off my squad. I need your uniform. They said. Except, except whatever. Even, I don't want whatever. That. Yo, whatever. Let's go talk to some cheerleaders. So, Lexi, what's your favorite thing about cheerleading? I really like cheering on Friday nights and caramel apples. So, are there any bad parts about cheerleading? Falling from a stunt is definitely the worst thing. Have you ever been hurt from a stunt? Oh, yes. Broke about broke my nose. Hmm. And um, how long have you been doing cheerleading? Um, since JFL, probably third or fourth grade. And um, last question, who's the loudest cheerleader on the team? I am definitely the loudest cheerleader on the team. Good answer. Thank you for your time. Brooke, how long have you been in cheerleading? I've been in cheerleading since JFL. Wow, that's a long time. What's your favorite part about cheerleading? It's probably watching the games up close on Friday nights. I see. Do you plan on cheering after high school? I plan on trying to cheer after high school. I see. And who would you say is the loudest on the cheer squad? I'm definitely the loudest cheerleader on the squad. Nice. Thank you. So what are you going to miss the most about cheerleading? Uh, probably Linnea. Have you ever gotten injured while cheerleading? Yeah, I got a bloody nose one time. How did you get that? Uh, Brooke fell on me. Sounds painful. Um, how long have you been cheering since? Uh, since JFL, so like fourth grade. Pretty long time. Uh, who's the loudest cheerleader on the team? Uh, probably myself. I might have to agree with that. Thank you for your time. <laughs> so Annette, do you plan on cheering in college? Um, not really. It would be fun, but I don't think that I will. That's good. Um, so uh, how long have you been a cheerleader? Uh, all four years of high school and in middle school. So Annette, have you ever gotten hurt while cheering? Yes, a week before homecoming, I took a round off to the face from Aaliyah. That's not good. Um, so what do you like the most about Coach Wilson? Um, I love how she is so young, so she can relate to us in a lot of ways. All right, that's good. So uh, who do you think is the loudest cheerleader? Oh, I definitely am. Well, thank you for your time. Go. Touchdown, touchdown, extra points. Lady, that, line. that was impressive. Now, initially I was going to kick you out, but you've impressed me so far, and I really like the work you put in. Thank you. Dismount, one, two. Down, up. Splendid, splendid. Keep up the good work, ladies, and cheer the Knights to victory on Saturday. Of course, good luck to the Lady Knights at the sectional championship on Thursday. Let's not forget about cross country, which finished its season at sectional. Now let's look at some upcoming events. Well, that's our show. Next time, BACC and Fieldcrest staff. In the meantime, you keep being marvelous. And we'll see you soon on another edition of Your, Your Nightly, Nightly News. News.